All right, guys, AshBFC here, and welcome back to Shamu. So, last time, uh, mostly just sort of explored the house, had a little look around. Now we're going to be uh, venturing out, do a little bit of investigating. So, we look at the uh, journal uh, here. We found out last time that there was a fella who nearly got hit. You know, by this uh, black car that presumably Landy was in, so we want to be having a chat with him, see what he knows. So we're just going to, uh, <laughs> if I can get it to lock on, go into the fridge. You can see right here, we got a bottle oh, of milk. milk. This could be food for that kitten. Exactly. I should go to the shrine. I'm pretty sure the milk only appears once you've you've seen the can, basically. So also I believe Actually no, it don't matter for now. Let's head on out. Actually, first, I'm uh, go ahead and uh, make a phone call to Nozomi. I'll see what's going on, you know. Hello? Nozomi. Uh, hi, Ryo. Sorry, but I'm cooking right now. I see. Really? Oh, no! What's up? The pot's boiling over. Call me back. Okay, sure. Okay, I guess you can't chat for now. Uh, just something else as well, um, if you're making phone calls, obviously, you know, it's one of those old rotary phones, it takes a while to dial it, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. But uh, you can see the numbers here, uh, they start with 0468, you don't actually have to dial that in, just to save a bit of time, you can just start after that, so, a little something for you there you might not have known about. I have to be sure not to waste this. Well, I'm going to be wasting it, but not to, my, not to worry. Alright, um... So this is cool, you can actually sort of fast travel to some of the places you've already been. If you want to save a little bit of time. But we'll just um start off from outside. Oh, I can't tell you how much better it is with just how basically it's not really loading time. <laughs> it was such a pain in the arse in the original game. Hello Kitty. Anyway, off we go. Yeah, but be careful when playing in the road. Okay. Wait up, Yasuo. Wait for me. So there you go. That's most likely going to be the first uh, quick time event you encounter in this game. So Shamu, it wasn't the first game to have quick time events, but it. It basically, it was Yu Suzuki who coined the term quick time event, QTEs, QTEs, sorry, um, and this kind of popularised them. They're used in so many games now. They have come to annoy me over time, but I don't mind them in Shimu because they're not excessive. Some of the you know moments they happen in are quite cool, um, but it's just some games have they've become quite pointless. Do you know what I mean? Like basically uh, Shadow of Mordor for example the final boss was basically a quick time event to me that's ridiculous but you know anyway let's have a look at the uh, kit and see how it's holding up so you can pet it if you want good kitty have a look at it. Sometimes the little girl will be there, sometimes she won't. But if you want to, you know, sort of see how this whole kitten little uh, side story um, 
you know, progresses, you'll need to keep visiting the uh, kitten. Make sure you feed it. How are you doing? <laughs> You're so cute. Alright, we should. Here's your milk. Drink up. There we go. Seems you were hungry, huh? So you just stand in front of it, open up your uh, inventory, and give it the milk, or whatever other food you have. Yeah, let's uh, just gonna go and um, let's talk to these kids. Well, no, we'll go talk to these two down here. Don't believe we saw them last time. In fact, no, they would have been because I came down um, at night, didn't I? Noriko. What's up? About that day. That day? Ah, uh, the day of the incident. I heard about it from Nozomi. It must be hard for you. No, I'm fine. Did you see any men wearing black suits that day? No, I didn't. What about them? It's nothing, really. Yo. Hey, bro. I want to ask you something. Yeah? What is it? That day. Did you see any men wearing black suits? That day? Uh... No, I didn't see them. I see. Any idea of who may have seen them? Hmm... How about Mishima-san? Or Kondo-san? Those women just might know something. You know, they're always near the payphone in Sakuragaoka. Standing there chatting and gossiping all day? Yeah. Maybe they know, and are chatting about it now. I'll ask them. Thanks. So the thing that was really cool about Shamu is that every character had a voice. I mean, majority of games, and still some of them now, you're reading a lot of text, they all had voices. And while yes, the English voice acting isn't the best, I don't think it's horrendous in this game. Some of it's a bit wooden and, you know, it's a bit cheesy, and I think there were some translation issues. But, uh, I mean, Shemu 2 was appalling in its uh, voice acts in the Xbox version, but still, it was amazing that everyone had a voice and there was so much, you know, dialogue recorded. And a lot of it doesn't serve a purpose, it's hey. a bit unnecessary, but still. What are you doing? Nothing, really. Hi. Hey, mister! Let's play baseball! Sorry, maybe later, okay? So what's really cool as well about this um, re-release is... For the first time in this game, it lets you actually play with the Japanese voice acting. Which is far superior, uh, but that's really cool that that's, that's in there, um, going that extra step. Um, but for me, I've always known Shenmue. One as you know, being in the English voice acting, that's you know how I grew up playing it because that's just how it's released over here. Uh, but Shenmue 2, um, I've always known for the Japanese voice acting, so I'll be playing it in Japanese um, when I get around to that playthrough. But um, you see, the Dreamcast version, which only had the Japanese voice acting, we got that here in Europe. Uh, weirdly enough, it was never actually released in North America, so it was a very rare occasion where Europe got a game that North America didn't. Usually it's the other way around, um, but then it was re-released uh, everywhere on the Xbox version, but that had the absolutely horrendous, horrendous uh, English voice acting. So if you want to play Shenmue 2, make sure you know you play this version or the uh, original Dreamcast version. The Japanese voice acting is far superior. I just I can't play it with the English voice acting. I just can't. Anyway, have me to stop blabbing and uh, let's get a move on. Sakuragoka, so uh, you mentioned there's a couple of gossiping ladies, and this must be them right here by the, uh, the phone box. Let's have a word. Oh, hello, Ryo. That day of the incident, did you see some men dressed in black suits? Black suits? No. I didn't see them. Well, did you happen to notice anything unusual? Oh, nothing worth mentioning. I'm looking for anything at all. Is there anything you remember? I'm sorry, Dio. 
The weather was awful, so I stayed inside all day. Did you ask Sumia-san? She knows about everything that occurs in this neighborhood. Is that so? Hmm, okay. Um... Oh, hello, Ryo. Kondo-san, the day of the incident, did you see any men in black suits? The day of the incident? You mean the day it thundered, right? I didn't see them. I see. Did anything unusual happen around here that day? Not that I'm aware of. But you know, Sumia-san knows about everything that goes on around here. It'd be good if you tried asking Sumia-san. I see. I think it's really funny how he, you know, refers to that day as, you know, the day of the incident. And she's like, oh, the day it thundered. <laughs> it's just a really weird way of saying it, not rather than saying, oh, the day my dad was killed. I mean, maybe he didn't want to say that or, you know, referring to the date. <laughs> it's pretty funny, actually. Excuse me. Oh, no, no, no. I've been too tired lately. If you want to talk, ask someone else. Yeah, a lot of people uh, will Excuse me. basically what? tell you to piss off. Did you see any men wearing black suits around here? On that day it snowed. No, I didn't see them. I wasn't here the day it snowed. I see. So now it's the day of the incident, the day it thundered, the day it snowed. <laughs> it is funny. Sumia-san. Hi, Ryo. Here she is, this is uh, who those women were talking about. On the about. day of the incident, did you see some men in black suits? In black suits? No, I didn't. But I did see a cat, though. You mean a black cat? Yes, it was run over by a car. A kitten was crying nearby. I also saw little Megumi crying with it. I see. Was there anything else unusual about that day? Now that you mention it, Yamagishi-san took a terrible spill at the corner by the park. He was trying to dodge a speeding car. Looked as if he hurt his back. I think it was the same car that hit the cat. It must have been going really fast. So, that's what happened. About Yamagishi-san. I haven't seen him at the park recently. I would assume he's still laid up at home. I think if you visited, it'd cheer him up. You know his place with blue walls. You're right. I'll visit him. Yeah, so talking to her again there, she'll give you a bit more clues to where he lives. Of course, she's referring to uh, the black cat that got one over. Uh, well, that's now uh, was obviously the mother of the uh, the kitten at the shrine. This fella here on his little scooter. Excuse me. So sorry. Can't you ask someone in one of the stores around here? I see. Okay. Odd response. Excuse me. Yes. What's this name plate say? It says Tajima. Does it? I'm trying to find the Yamamoto's house, but see my eyesight is bad, so... Don't worry. I'll look for it. Wait for me in that park up ahead. You're so kind. Thank you so much. Okay, we're uh, looking for the uh, Yamamoto house. So basically, to, f to find it, you can just look at the, uh, the names here on the houses. So this is uh, Akasaka. Uh, uh, I know I butcher these pronunciations. I did they do the same in <laughs> the Yakuza playthroughs. Mitsui. I remember when I first played this as a kid, um, I really struggled for some reason to find the house. 
Yeah, is this one right here? Yamamoto. That's it. Guess I'll go get that lady. Yeah, really not uh, hard to find at all there. But it did take me a terribly long time to get through Shenmue when I was younger. I think mostly because I, I just never really played a game like this before. It was all new to me and you know, I was a bit out of my element. I just used to play more simpler games. Bear in mind, I'm like, what, 10, 11 years old? Anyway, let's tell that uh, old lady we found the place. Ma'am, I found it. Did you? Thank you so very much. This is it. Thank you for taking the time to help me, young man. I have to go now. There are so few helpful young people these days. Yeah, tell me about it. So here's another cool feature. Yep, you can buy drinks. So we can buy some coffee right there. We've got some jet soda, some fruit of grape, some orange, and we've got some jet cola. The, uh, the original Japanese game, I, th I believe used, the actual had like the real brand, it was the real Coke, and I think this was Fanta, uh, but, you know, they, they changed that, so maybe some licensing issues, um, you know, for the uh, Western release. Let's get ourselves, let's go for some grape, not something I'd normally drink myself, but... facial expression he drinks that. Uh, something else as well, um, you can get a winning can in these machines. I think it's a 1 in 10 chance. We'll have, um, we'll have another crack. I'll get myself a coffee this time around. Could be a late night, so we'll get that caffeine boost. See, I actually have a really, really bad caffeine addiction, like I'm dependent on it, I need to, I need to uh, slowly try and uh, <laughs> come off that, but it's, it's not easy. Ooh. Ah, good. Actually, now I've just realised, I don't think you can get a winning can with a coffee, I think it's only the, uh, the sodas. So let's go ahead and, uh, we'll get a jet cola. I'm one of those weird people that prefers Pepsi to Coke. Nope, I didn't win. I'll get one eventually. Ooh. Ah, good. <laughs> good. And also, have a little deal on these uh, toy Hi. capsule machines. Hi, oh. Mister. Let's play soccer. Some other time, okay? And I prefer you to call it football, kid. So we've got a little Sonic one over here, and a Virtual Fighter one over here. One hundred yen each. I should buy one. I always forget what yen is in like pounds or dollars. It's not as much as you'd think. A hundred yen, maybe, I don't know, a pound? 50p? Could be less, could be 20p, all cool. of that. I got tails. So I think, uh, I think it's 50 of them in total you can get. Maybe I should get another. Go on. Oh, crap, one more. Let's get a Knuckles. 
You're not always guaranteed to get um, a Sonic character, you might get something pointless like that. Huh? Just a ball. Ball number two. Maybe I should get another. Alright, okay, one more and then we'll get moving. These damn machines. What have we got? Is that another Tails? What? This again? Oh, god damn it. Oh well. Hopefully by the Maybe end of I this get uh, another. walkthrough I'll have collected them all. Changed my mind. We can actually uh, go inside the store as well right here. The Abe store. With this very weird woman. Excuse me. What is it, baby boy do? Okay. The day of that incident, did you see any men dressed in black suits? I don't have the time to fool with looking at men. I see. I think she misunderstood what I was saying. Did there. anything unusual happen that day? You again. With me, every day it's the same old routine. I see. Use your head, baby boy, do. Yes. <laughs> I should call him baby boy Rio. I'd be really uncomfortable if someone was calling me baby boy Ash. Like, I'd, I'd, I'd say no. But anyway, you can uh, win prizes here. There's five tiers. So we've got gold, we've got silver. And we've got the number two, number three, and number four. So basically, buying certain items, you'll get entered into the raffle. And they have to be items that have got a picture of um, the girl on it right there. So if I bought these, the squid legs or the salami, uh, I think you can feed the squid legs to the cat, I forget about the salami. If you will buy some chocolate, potato chips or some caramel, uh, we'll get to uh, a go at the raffle. A chance to win a prize. Let's go ahead and buy that. So, are you going to buy this little deal? I'll take this one. That's no, little real. Okay, little deal. Try your luck. All right. So I got shuffle in there. What have we got? Oh, too bad. Ah, oh damn it. well, you should have come yesterday. I'm not very good. I usually uh, don't win. Excuse me. Um. You're no longer a child. Don't just stand around doing nothing. It's about time you grew up, baby boy Dio. Ma'am, please don't call me baby boy Dio. Well, you certainly know how to run your mouth off anyway. She's a very, very strange lady. I'm gonna leave this store right now. I'm sure Rio feels very uncomfortable. You could also actually knock on pretty much all the doors. Perhaps they're but, out? Yeah, most of the time no one's in. It's funny though how he knocks and then immediately says perhaps they're out, <laughs> not even giving the chance to answer the door. But that's mostly what you get from I some of them. I don't think anybody's in. Occasionally some might give you a little line or something, but that's generally what you're going to get. Yeah, this is uh, one of Rua's friends oh, right Yuki. here. Yo! Got a sec? Sure. Hey, is everything okay? Yeah, but hey, on that day, did you see any men wearing black suits? Black suits? No, I sure didn't. I see. Any idea who might know about those men in black suits? Hmm... Maybe Sakura Gaoka Gossip Gaggle might know something. You know how they're always yakking over near the payphone. Try asking them. Good idea. Well, we have already asked those, so we'll be doing that. But, um... The fellow we're looking for, can you remember? The woman said, the blue walls. So yeah, this is the place right here. There we go. So, this is the old man here. Let's see what he knows. Yeah, Michael, she oh, it's you, Rio. How is your back? Yes, it's much better. 
But how did you know? I heard from someone in the neighborhood that you almost got ran over by a car. Well, it must have been Megumi or Sumiya-san who told you. That driver was insane. Could you tell me about what happened with that car? Sure. This black car came flying around the corner over by Sakura Gaoka Park and went towards uh, Dubuita. A black car? Did you see the license plate number? Maybe if there hadn't been any snow. And to make matters worse, I fell over. So I never had the chance. Oh, well I'm glad to hear you're okay. Okay. So the black car went towards Dubuita. Uh, so, uh, well, I guess that's our next stop. So there's two ways you can get around. Uh, you can go around this side, or there's another entrance around the other side as well. I'm going to go down this way. Here we go, Dubuita. Going to be spending a lot of time around here. It's really nice to be playing this game as well without the worry of the game crashing on me, which was always a problem when I you know, played it on the emulators. Yeah, it's not going to be a problem now. There's quite a lot of uh, the buildings and things you can go in. So a lot of them will close at 9 o'clock, I think some close at 8. Uh, some places stay a little bit uh, open a little bit late, some go to like 11, 12, I think. Oh, so this is a noodle place. Most of them, there's not much benefit to going in them, but uh, again, a bit of extra dialogue, Hello. and most of them have awesome Hi, music. Hi, Come on in. Okay, san That day, when it snowed, did you see a black car? Hmm, let me think. No, I didn't see any. If I remember right, I didn't go outside all day. Is that right? Okay. Excuse me. What is it? Did you see a black car the day it snowed? Hmm, let me think. We didn't make any deliveries that day. Don't remember seeing one. I see. Boss, this guy is asking if we saw a black car the day it snowed. Ah, Dio, is it? I didn't see you there. I heard you two talking. I hardly went out at all that day. I see. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit funny that we did just talk to that guy. I guess it was assumed you'd talk to this guy first. Excuse me. Forgive me. Could you come back a bit later? Okay. There's a lot of people wandering around. Most um, of them won't talk to you. Sorry, but, um, uh, ask someone else around here, will you? I feel like some of these people are quite rude, to be honest with you. Let's have a look in here. Barbershop. Excuse me. Hi. I have something to ask you. What is it? On that day, did you see a black car? A car? A black car? Yes. No, I didn't. I see. Oh well. Seems like we're getting anywhere at the moment. No one seems to have seen anything. Yuriko-san. Oh, Ryo. Did you happen to see a black car that day? A black car? Yeah, it probably came through here at high speed. Well, I don't think I saw it. I see. 
Why don't you ask at Komine Bakery or Uokichi Seafood? They're usually out in front of their shops, so they might have seen it. Yeah. Well, let's hope so. I can make a phone call there, I don't want to, but... Let's talk to the lady. Hi, Hirata-san. Ah, hi there, yo. When it gets this cold, my bones ache. It's about that day. Did you see a black car around here? A black car? Hmm, can't say I did. I see. Come to think of it, Shinkichi, he was saying something about a black car that was speeding or something. You mean Shinkichi-san, at the seafood shop? Yes, that's him. Thank you. Okay, the seafood shop. Right here. Uh, this is actually uh, the U Arcade. We'll uh, visit that another time. Tamura-san. Hey, Ryo. Did you see a black car that day? No, I didn't. Has that car got something to do with a suspect? Well, oh, I remember the owner of the seafood shop talking something about a car. I didn't ask him for details, though. Thanks. I'll go and see him. See you later. Komina-san. Hi. What can I get you? It's about that day. Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? The day the snow turned to rain, right? That's right. It was really chilly, so... I raised the temperature for preparing the dough a little bit higher than usual, but I guessed wrong, and the dough didn't rise properly. Well, see you. <laughs> now it's the day the snow turned to red. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey! That day it snowed. Did you see a black car? Yeah, I saw one. Really? But I only got a glimpse of it. I see. Sorry, I can't tell you more. That's okay. Oh, okay, I thought I'm about to get somewhere then. But nope. Itoi san. Yes! We have all kinds of patches and. Have you seen a black car pass through here? What? A black car? Yes, the day the snow turned to rain. Yes, I remember the snow and the rain, but. I don't remember seeing a black car. I see. Okay, well, uh, what's well, this guy? Yo, how are ya? The day it snowed, did you happen to see a black car? Huh? A black car? Apparently it drove through here at high speed. Oh yeah, I heard something about that. Oh. About the black car, did you remember? Yeah, man. I heard about it a couple of days ago at the hamburger place. Something about some black car that was speeding. I wasn't paying much attention, so I don't really remember. I see. Ask the owner of the hamburger place. Thanks a lot. Okay. This place uh, right here it closes at eight. Um, hi. What can I get for you? I have a question for you. Do you remember the day when the snow changed to rain? Yeah, I remember. Did you happen to see a black car? A black car? Oh, hey, that reminds me. You know that girl over at Ida Florist, yeah? You mean Nozomi? Yep. 
She was spitting mad because some black car splashed mud on her. I don't know the details, though. I see. Ah, there we go. Some zombie got splashed by the car, so obviously she, she saw it. That's something. But uh, that's going to do it for this uh, part right here. Um, so, uh, well, next time, um, we'll ask an Azomi. See if we can get anywhere. So, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then.